Hey guys, welcome back. This is going to be part number 14 of Tapper. I got a new power supply in the mail today. Um, it's down there. I got everything plugged in. I have not turned the game on yet. I like to try to do that with you guys, so we'll see what happens. So hopefully uh, it works and doesn't blow up or something stupid. What, ha what had happened is the, I'm pretty positive what I think happened is the, um, amp board right there that's not the right amp board for this game i do have the right one i grabbed the wrong one i plugged it in wrong and i think what happened was i created feedback through the power supply and blew it up so fingers crossed i'm going to point this on the screen here we are going to plug it in right now i just have the this this is a newer style monitor so i have it plugged into the um to the uh outlet inside the cabinet because there is an isolation transformer on this monitor but we are going to wire it in like normal to the molex connector but just for the for right now we can test it and see if we get anything so i'm going to plug the monitor in first that should come up at least with a white screen or something i don't know how, i don't know how, how high the brightness is or anything okay we're going to go ahead and turn the game on we're going to pull the interlock push the interlock switch in Okay, all right, awesome. We're getting something here. It's rolling right now, but that's fine. We'll uh, see what we can do for adjustments here. Let's just see if it comes up first. Okay, cool. It came up. All right, so first thoughts are let's get it to stop scrolling. Um, let's see what we got here. Vertical hold. Flyback's up too high. We need to lower the flyback. So let me turn that down. Okay, that's looking good. We're getting rolling on it still. I almost wonder if I have to hook up another sink wire. I wonder if this requires two sink wires. Because it's kind of jumping back and forth. Yep, okay. Let me hook up this other sink wire. I just got to temporarily connect it to the back here. Okay, well, that might stop it. Get back to the vertical hold here. Yep, still rolling. Hmm. I wonder if there's any other vertical hold on this thing. Let me try it. Horizontal hold, horizontal position. Nope, something just happened. Monitor just turned off. So did the power supply. I wonder why. Okay, I'm gonna have to mess with this a little bit more and see why the power supply just turned off. I don't know what would cause that. Okay, let me uh, work on it a little bit more and then I'll come back and see what we get. Okay, we're back up and running. Um, for some reason, it blew the fuse inside the power supply, so I took the cover off, changed the fuse, it's a four amp fuse. And now it's been running for about five minutes. I got the monitor adjusted in pretty good. The monitor was shaking a little bit, so I turned up the five volts a tiny bit and the shaking went away. And I've noticed that my journey shakes a little bit as well. So I'll bet you my five volts is a little bit low on my journey. So I'll have to try to turn that up a little tiny bit and see if that helps. Right now I'm at 4.95. I guess I was down around 4.8. So I don't want to push it much higher than that. But what concerns me is why would that fuse inside that 
new uh, power supply blow like that. I don't know. I, I can't answer why it would do that, um, but I mean, it is running. I, I got to go get the other amp board, get that installed up there, plug it in and see if we get um, audio. And then I need to take the board set back apart and put my free play chip back in there because originally when I was having problems with it, I thought maybe the chip that got burned for the high score save didn't work and that was causing it not to turn on. But now we're looking pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead, get the um, sound board installed and I'll come back and we will see what happens. Okay, everything seems to be working. The um, amp board was correct. I needed that adapter plug to go from the one to the other. I had plugged it in straight into the amp board the wrong way. So everything's fixed now. It is working. Volume is really low right now because of the sound pot. I don't have one yet. It should be here Wednesday or Thursday. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this stuff apart. I'm going to change the chip in the circuit board and retest it, make sure it works with free play, and then we can start putting the cabinet back together. Okay, I got the uh, free play chip installed in the board set. Now I can uh, go through here and uh, put everything back together. Power supply and everything, we'll get everything remounted in there. Then I could spin the cabinet around to uh, maybe we'll put the marquee and stuff in. Okay, I got everything back together in the cabinet. You can see here, power bricks remounted, power supplies in. I'm gonna unplug the monitor now. I'm not gonna put that back in yet because I'm going to take these brackets that I ordered that are not right, and we are gonna make brackets that go onto the side of the cabinet right over here on each side, and then I'll probably also drill into this board and put a couple bolts down through the board through the frame of the monitor. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this unplugged. We're gonna spin the cabinet around and then I will start working on the marquee. Okay, I've got these old um, marquee brackets, which are all bent and warped up. I got a new pair here. They're a little long, so I need to cut them down to length and then we can get the marquee installed. So I'm gonna get these things cut. I'll go grab the marquee and we'll get this put in. Okay, I got these cut and pre-drilled so there's five screws in the top and five in the bottom normally there was only three but this one had five because uh probably because of the weight of the glass i'm going to use these security bit screws that's usually what i like to use to hold it in um, so basically what i need to do here is get the glass you have to make new holes because this top and bottom are new, the wood's new. So you kind of just hold it there, get one screw in the middle.
after I get these couple screws in, we'll turn it on so you can see what it looks like. This is the glass one from uh, Phoenix Arcade. Same thing with the uh, monitor glass. The monitor glass has the chrome um, printed onto the glass. That's on. Let me turn this light off. You can see how good their uh, marquees look. Okay, now I want to work on putting the uh, cup holders on. So when these go on, they get screwed in from the side right here. Four screws. And I'm going to use one inch. Uh, show you here. I'm not sure what screws they originally used, but we're going to use these right here. They're a uh, quarter inch head, one inch long. I believe they're number 10 screws. Okay, I went and grabbed the other one. The cabinet already has the holes pre-drilled in it. Okay, now the, these brackets are supposed to mount on the side of the cup holder. These are not original brackets, I did not have them. So my screw holes are a little off from here. So I'm gonna have to figure it out and re-drill these plates so that I can screw them into the side of the cup holders. But for now, we can kind of set this on here, see what it looks like. Gives you an idea. Um, the bolts that hold the coin door bucket down there, I did not have the original ones when I sent this stuff out to get uh, plated. So I had sent the guy these ones here. I had them plate them for me 
So they're just a little bit flatter than what the factory ones were. Of course, now I have original ones, but I'm just gonna go ahead and use these anyways. They'll look just fine. They're just a nice flat. And then also I have a new bar for the bottom. But uh, I think I'm gonna end this video here. Um, the next time we'll work on it, we will do the, um, the bottom bar. We'll put the uh, coin box holder in. We'll put together the coin door mount the monitor and everything. So I think I'll just do one more video and we'll have this thing wrapped up. So that's going to end this video, guys. If you like what you're seeing, please like and subscribe and I will see you later.